Hundreds fill the Crown Plaza Hotel in Nashua as day two of the first in the nation summit continues. Potential and declared Republican candidates took the stage to talk about topics from education to unemployment. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Woods. The summit continues tonight with more big name Republicans. WMUR's political director Josh McKelvin is live at the summit and joins us now with the insider scoop. Josh. Well, if you like presidential politics, in particular Republican presidential politics, in the last couple of days in Nashua was certainly your cup of tea. In rapid fire succession, roughly 20 potential candidates, a couple even declared presidential candidates, took to the podium to address a packed house here. And while it did kind of have a one stop shopping feel to it, all of the candidates seemed to relish the opportunity to come to New Hampshire to try to make their mark. Day two started with declared candidate Rand Paul, who immediately took aim at what he deems watered down Republicans. Some in our party say, well, let's just dilute the message. Let's become Democrat light and then we'll get more votes. I couldn't disagree more. Hillary Clinton must not be president of the United States because she does not have a track record of accomplishment. Carly Fiorina wasn't the only potential GOP candidate of that opinion, and concluding his remarks, Donald Trump did a little unofficial polling of his own. Well, I made two speeches today. I got the biggest standing ovation uh, that in both speeches. Not that others didn't have their moments as well. One percent have been taking care of the 99 percent, not the rich people. The ones wearing the uniform, the FBI, the CIA. Remember, we may be here as Republicans, they may down the street as Democrats, but you know what unites us? We're Americans. When we faced oppression in Cuba, I had a place to flee to. If we lose our freedom here, where do we go? In a wide open field, there are varying degrees of name ID and star power. But at this event, and in New Hampshire as a whole, all feel they're on equal footing with thoughtful voters. It's early. They're not going to be making early commitments. They want to hear from the candidates, want to kick the tires, ask tough questions. That's a good thing. And if I were to become a candidate, I think that'd be good for us, quite frankly. And this really was kind of an unprecedented event for the New Hampshire Republican Party. It wrapped up today at 4 p.m., largely because there was a wedding booked for the same event hall. One Republican candidate, though, a perceived front runner in this race, we did not hear from today, and that is Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. He actually arrived here at the Crown Plaza for a short time ago for an after event uh, uh, dinner. We're going to hear from him, hear what he has to say, along with a wrap up of the two day event here in Nashua coming up at 11 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in Nashua, I'm Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.